Egypt is a land of contrasts, at once as modern as an airliner and as ancient as the very stones of the pyramids themselves. And although present day Egypt is a shining example of 20th century progress, many of its customs go back to biblical times. Here a group of Arab camel drivers pause to rest in their trek across the desert sands. Nearby, a streamlined bus takes a party of tourists to view the Great Pyramid of Giza, over 5,000 years old. But the camels move on, ships of the desert that have sailed Egypt for centuries. And now Cairo, international metropolis of modern Egypt, bustling crossroads of the Middle East. Here is a touch of today threaded in the fabric of the past as throngs of travelers pour in and out of Egypt's capital city at the head of the Nile. Cairo, where ancient and modern civilizations meet in harmony. In Egypt, all roads lead to Cairo, and the life of the city is ever replenished by long camel trains, bringing supplies and produce to Cairo's two million citizens. It's quite a job to understand traffic regulations here, and you might get a ticket if you disregard the cop at the corner, but the traffic itself transcends language barriers. Very likely, you will visit Shepherds, often compared with the Ritz in Paris and the Waldorf Astoria in New York as one of the world's truly great hotels. History and legend have smiled on Shepherd's Hotel, and it has been mentioned in nearly every novel about Egypt for over half a century. Not far from the marble porticos of Shepherd's, the inhabitants of Cairo's teeming native quarter go about their business in a manner they've been used to for hundreds of years. Open marketplaces and street bazaars are sources for much gossip and intrigue, as well as mere shopping centers. Sandwiched between a spice shop and a rug merchant's stall, a public letter writer plies his ancient trade. A tour through the Egyptian Museum is a must for every visitor to Cairo. Here are the completely restored treasures of King Tutankhamun, that fabulous pharaoh whose tomb invoked a curse on all who disturbed it. King Tut's outer coffin is sumptuously covered in beaten gold. A miniature coffin was found nearby and a startlingly lifelike face mask of the boy king in solid gold an inch thick. Alabaster treasures are giant perfume vases in perfect condition after 33 centuries. The tools of civilization have hardly changed in Egypt since Tutankhamun's day. Clay has been cut, fashioned and baked into brick and bricks and stones laid one upon another in the same manner for centuries. Time flows slowly in the land of the pyramids. Notice, for example, how perfectly the conventional loose Egyptian garb protects the wearer from the burning rays of the sun. In what other city but Cairo could you board a modern, up-to-date streetcar Pay your fare to this bewhiskered, red fez conductor. And almost before you had a chance to settle down in your seat, find yourself looking out at towering monuments to lost civilizations built at least 300 years before the birth of Christ. Egypt is indeed a land of surprises. Here a Muslim woman adjusts a prayer wheel on her nose, a curious sight to see while riding along on a 20th century conveyance. Here in a more traditional scene, a camel caravan sets forth in the shadows of the pyramids. A group of nomads make their way across the desert, seeking shelter for the night. History comes vividly to life, a page out of the Arabian Nights, as the caravan enters the very cave in which Ali Baba found the treasure of the 40 thieves. Here at Luxor, 300 miles south of Cairo, lived and ruled the mighty pharaohs whose tombs are wonders of the world. A 4,000-year-old mummy is found still in its tattered linen wrappings. 
Hieroglyphics on the walls will someday tell the entire story of this fantastic civilization. Mechanical excavating is taboo here, and only the most delicate methods are used. With infinite care, the world's greatest jigsaw puzzle is slowly being reassembled, fitting back into place stones, statues, broken thumbs and feet weighing up to 200,000 pounds. It will require another hundred years to completely restore these great temples and tombs, for the entire Valley of the Kings was destroyed by an earthquake in 27 BC. But the Egyptian government, which has been doing the job for 15 years now, is attempting to restore every stone in this 600 acres of precious granite to its original position. Truly a jigsaw puzzle that staggers the imagination. The answer to how these engineering marvels were accomplished, how the gigantic columns were cut, floated down the Nile and erected, is a secret still locked in the earliest pages of human history. Horse racing may not have been the sport of Egypt's ancient kings, but today every man is a king, and every bet a sure winner at the Jezera Sporting Club outside Cairo. Betting is heavy among both the European visitors and native Egyptian sportsmen at the track, and the thoroughbreds, too, are drawn both from Arabian and European stock. Sheik European women stand side by side with bearded sheiks in this ancient land where today rides on every winner and the past is never far behind. In Cairo, everything is contrast, a city where ancient and modern civilizations meet and live in harmony. Here, the slender minarets of the Muhammad Ali Mosque rise into graceful prominence over the swarming maze that is the older section of the city. Yet in another quarter of the city lies Heliopolis, fashionable modern residential suburb which forms the swank Westchester of Cairo. The life stream of Cairo, in fact of all Egypt, is the Nile, longest river in the world and the original old man river of antiquity. When night falls in Cairo, you'd feel right at home if you happen to come from New York or Chicago or Los Angeles, for Cairo too has its great white way. Muslim and Christian mingle in the nightlife of this busy metropolis. For authentic Egyptian rhythms, for example, why, where else to see it but in exotic Egypt? Like the land itself, it's old, it's new, it will never die. Land of the pyramids, of desert sands, of palm trees, camels, ancient monuments, and an ancient people. To visit the very scenes where fabulous pharaohs ruled a mighty civilization brings a sense of peace and the endurance of man to our 20th century world. 